Okay, dumbass, let me show you how to fucking use edit mode. Watch, I'm gonna turn this fucking cube into a whole ass head in like three minutes. Tops. So, fucking, you just grab this, go into edit mode, and like, you're greeted with this, right? Literally just a cube, the vertices. You can click to grab them. Whether you have it set to left click or right click, I don't fucking know. Just do what you want. These three little buttons up here are important. This chooses what kind of thing you're selecting. If it's this, you select the vertices. If it's this, you select the edge. If it's this, you select the face. Let's start with the selecting the face. Extrude region. Pull that shit out. Scale it down. Uh, if you want, you can also set up the, uh, what is it called? The fucking keybinds. Uh, clean up. No, it's not on the page. Where the fuck is it? Um. Oh, I think it's in the vertex. Yeah, over here. Um, smooth vertices. Yeah. Vertex, smooth vertices, right click that, change the shortcut, control, alt, B. And then you go to select, uh, select more, change shortcut, control equals, control minus. Yeah, once you've done those three things, then you can start modeling. I, I just excluded for the fuck of it, but anyway. You can press A to select everything. Control shift click to select the edge loops. Uh, that's not very easy just to do unless I add more. Do loop cut to add more edge loops. You don't have to do that, Just I'm just saying what I'm doing. Make sure that you don't leave your tool on while you're just doing other stuff, because then it's going to do this, and it's going to get annoying. You might accidentally fuck something up. So just go back to here when you're done. Shift, Alt, right click, selects the edge loop on anything. Edge loops are part of topology. If you haven't learned what those are yet, you're a dumbass, but you'll find out soon enough. Uh, here's another important tool, Symmetrize. You'll find I go into these menus a lot because I'm not very efficient. <laughs> there are probably easier ways that I could do this, but eh. Oh yeah, here's where Smooth Vertices comes in. Control alt v and it basically does the same thing Subdivide does without actually subdividing it. Oh yeah, these three are helpful. Move which moves it around, obviously, rotate, which, guess what? And scale, which, wow, what a novel concept. Beh. So you can just, like, this used to be a fucking cube. I just added some edge loops and smoothed it, and now it's, like, whatever the fuck this is. Uh, press 1 or 3 on your keypad to view it from the front or the side, respectively. I've viewed it from the front so I can grab these. Oh yeah, I'm doing that by shift clicking. Shift, click, click, click. That lets you click more at once. Uh, if you want to be more efficient than me and actually use the key pines, I highly recommend it. You press E to extrude. I'm a dumbass and I usually just press the buttons. But I know you're all about key pines, so yeah. Look at that, there's already a fucking basic ass muzzle. Look how fucking easy that was. Uh, oh yeah, here's another useful tool, uh, bevel. You can select an edge loop and, like, generate this kind of thing here. Or you can select, like, faces. Shut the fuck up, Discord. And then do this kind of thing. Like that. It's useful for, like, some things, but I don't use it very often. You could use it to make some eyes. That, that wouldn't be too hard. You're supposed to do, uh, I forgot to mention this, you're supposed to do hard modeling along with using subdivide. So subdivision surface on. That looks fucking cursed, what the hell. Shading smooth. Yeah, there you go. Now you've got a very basic geometry going on. It's super goddamn easy. Oh, forgot to mention this. Uh, enable symmetry. It makes everything easier. These three, I mean, four whatever things up here are your best friend. This is the transform orientation. You're going to want to use global and normal for the most part. Because normal lets you pull it out like this. 
Global is just going to have it go up and down, but normal is very helpful if you're just trying to push it into where it needs to go, like these eyes. That looks so cursed. <laughs> but this is just a demonstration, so it doesn't matter. Um, your transform pivot points are incredibly helpful. You can use individual origins or active element, but most of the time you're going to want median point that put the Basically what this does is it tells you, it tells the program where this little thing right here goes. So like if you have it set to active element, it's gonna jump to wherever the last thing I clicked was. Control L to select all, it's still gonna stay there. Median point, it's gonna go here. Individual, individual origins is also incredibly helpful because you can do shit like uh, this, like that or as opposed to median point, which does this. Uh, you don't have to worry about snapping increments, but those are helpful for, like, if you're just trying to move something out of the way, I guess. Like, uh, like this. Makes it so it, like, snaps to the grid, but we don't need that. Uh, this, this fucking thing, proportional editing, oh my god. This thing is so helpful. Um, let's just scale this up so it works better. Uh, the bigger your model is, the more proportional editing will help, because um, otherwise it's going to do stupid shit like, like this. But if you make it bigger, let's just fucking subdivide this shit. There we go, now we have more to work with. Control alt -V -V, uh, grab a vertice using proportional editing, and it'll push everything in that general area around it along with it. So, uh, right click shift to select these two, pull it up or down, and now we have the ability to move the eyes, or eye sockets, I guess. Oh, and if you see this happening, that means it's not symmetrical. You're gonna wanna grab the whole thing by pressing A, symmetrize. Oh yeah, this is also helpful. You can modify symmetrize by, you're only gonna wanna use these two at the bottom, this is for the right side, this is for the left side, I think. Threshold tells how much of it should be symmetrized. You could just fuck it all up if you wanted to. But uh, I'm not going to do that. Just set the symmetrized threshold to zero most of the time and it should help. But if you're getting like, so you're getting, yeah, stuff like this. Sometimes symmetrized will generate stupid shit like that. Or like right here, right here. This shit is the bane of my existence. The way you fix that is by clean up, merge by distance, and then you just turn up the merge distance till they disappear. Easy. Fucking easy. With literally everything I just showed you, you could probably make like a cat head or something in under two minutes. So like, there. I just selected the edge loop. This would be easier if set to face mode. Can, uh, alt, shift, click. Delete, uh, grab this shit. No, don't do that. Oh yeah, uh, proportional editing can be set to move everything around it or only what's connected to it. So like the mouth. But if I turn that off, bleh. But we're not gonna need that right now. Here's just like a very big, like, I don't know, mascot head? What the fuck would you call this? I don't know. Just, like, fuck around, find out, do what you can, what you feel. This looks like shit, oh my god. But yeah, this was literally just for demonstration purposes, so I, I couldn't care less. Let's just fucking try this again. Cube. Oh, yeah, this is helpful. Edge, subdivide. You might want to set this to a keybind. I don't. I just go into the menu and click it. Subdivide. Subdivide. Yeah, now you don't have to use fucking subdivision modifier. You can just do it manually. Control Alt V. Shrink that shit down. Let's grab this, 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 and this. Shift click to grab more at once. Extrude. Select more with Control Equal. Control Equal. Extrude. Smooth that shit down. Smooth it down even more. Okay, this kind of looks like a lizard. That's cool. Um. This, is, this isn't meant to be like me flexing on you, this is just me showing you my method of modeling, because I know you've wanted to learn my way. Oh yeah, just don't forget to use these. Edge, 
Uh, shut the fuck up, Anakin. I don't care if this goes over 10 minutes. Right click, go over here. Uh, bevel, delete, delete. That wasn't delete. Bevel, delete. Oh yeah, you can adjust the bevel settings here. You can like give it more segments if you wanted to. That like helps you generate smoother topology. Uh, I guess we're making a fucking xenomorph. I don't know what the hell this is. I selected that edge loop with shift click, delete, smooth the vertices some more. Yeah, this looks like that one like shittily animated dinosaur that goes yee, but whatever. Extrude some eye holes. Oh, sometimes you're gonna want to turn X uh, symmetry off because otherwise it'll fuck up your geometry like this. So, like in instances like this where you have like vertices that are in the exact same spot, symmetrize is gonna fuck you up. So, turn it off, scale it down, turn it back on. Subdivision surface. Uh, oh, here's another thing on hog modeling I should show you. Um, sharps. Sharps are what are used to create sharp edges. They look amazing when done correctly. So, like, I just scaled this up. Sharps are used on Fontaine's belly to give her belly ridges. So, that's just an example of the applications. Go to Mesh, Normals, not Normals, Shading, Sharp Edges. Now, if we select the whole thing and go to Shape Smooth Faces, you will see that... What the fuck? It's not very pronounced for whatever reason. Okay, there. There. Now now you can see... Uh, there. That's not a very good example. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. I should have done it on the eyes. Hang on. This is like the most all-over-the-place tutorial I've ever made. I'm so sorry. I'm sure you couldn't feel us. Uh, mark Sharp. Oh, yeah, this is a fast way to do it. Edge Mark Sharp. I don't know why I had to go there first. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, there, now it's just kind of some kind of fucking, I don't know, weird ass bird skull. Let's go back into edit mode. It's more, sharps are more pronounced when you give them the opportunity to be. So, like, da, fucking, da, 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 da. can't believe this is already over 10 minutes. This is fucking stupid. Yeah, th there, 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 there we go. Kind of that. That, that works. Cool. Shut the fuck up, Discord! Okay, yeah, see, see how that's a harder edge? Yeah, that's sharps. Use that. Uh, that's pretty much all I know about hard modeling. I know this looks like a weird fucked up alien, but I was just trying to demonstrate to you how I do shit. With enough practice and time and patience, you can get to doing shit like this through hard modeling. And I know you will, because you're fucking... You have potential. So just keep at it and you'll get there, okay? I believe in you. I love you. Stop being a dumbass. <clears throat>